Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm at Hordle on the south coast just down from Bournemouth on what is a beautiful winter's afternoon, beginning of January, two rods in the water and I'm fishing. Got all my warm gear on, got the beach shelter up, taking a little bit of drone footage and we're at low tide and the tide's due to turn anytime soon. I'm going to fish three hours up and two hours after high tide. Not many people about. I see a couple of dog walkers earlier, and that's about it. I'm fishing two different rigs. So I'm fishing the Trident pulley rig on one rod, and I'm fishing a shortest trace up and over rig on the other rod. Not a direct comparison for this one, just what I think will fish well. I've picked the Trident rig for the clip down, distance casting, and getting the bait out as far as I can get it. And I've gone for the two foot or two and a half foot up and over rig because I'm fishing a gully and I want the, the bait to move around a bit and be fairly pinned to the bottom. So between the two I think I've got it covered. I'll show you where I'm actually fishing in the background. You can see my rods in the background and you can see the surf line here but also in the distance there's like a secondary surf line just there now where you just see it rolling. And in between the two, which may only be that much on camera, it's about 60 metres of gully. I can't cast past the bar, a bit too far, but I can plant my rig straight in that gully. And that's what I'm aiming for. Daytime fishing is not particularly good. I'm expecting more to happen at night. And I'm using bluey wrapped in squid. So I've got bluey strips wrapped in squid and I've also got some mackerel for a bit later on and I've also got squid on its own just to go straight squid later. So that's the plan. It's a beautiful day, I'm just glad to be out. Get a bit stir crazy sat indoors. Mrs W's taking the Christmas decorations down. Let's move the camera around a bit now, now that we've looked at the, the surf. Um, Mrs W's taking the Christmas decorations down. Don't want to get involved in that. Or... Everything's getting bou bounced around a bit out there at the moment. I'm going to struggle to see any kind of bite with this rolling surf at the moment. That's the bait that's just been out and it is a bluey and squid wrap. That's what's just been out for about half an hour. And it just seems a bit of a waste. 
when conditions aren't perfect at the moment. So I'm just going to add a bit to it. I'm going to add a bit to it. I'm going to add a sliver of mackerel. So I'm just thinking a piece of mackerel down the back of it, nicely trimmed up. Put some on the baking needle and make it easier. Put on the baking needle. What I like to do is just put a couple of wraps down the end there just to just to help get it out of the way. So that's on the baking needle. I'm just gonna put it put down the side or down the back. Throw caution to the wind and just go down the side then. Eh? So let's get a little bit of this going. This is on the side. I'm not quite sure what I'm trying to achieve with this. Just trying something else out, something different. I don't look for myself. So rather than tear off the bait and get rid of the whole lot, I thought I'd have a go at refreshing it a little bit. off another scent trail, bulk it all up a bit. I'm not after small fish. And that is a fair old lump. So that is bluey wrapped in squid with a mackerel strip down the back of it. And that is going back out to see what we can get. As you can see it's gotten dark. It's pitch black, just about high tide, and I'm chuffed to conkers. I am absolutely chuffed to bits. This fish has been a long time coming for me. I've been trying, I've tried over the last six weeks to catch a small eyed ray, and I've watched other people catch them. I've been with other people and they've caught them. I've been between two people fishing and they've caught them, and I haven't. But I finally cracked it tonight, guys. I am just the conquest. It's only small, but my target species for this evening, small eyed grey. It's been hard work getting this, I tell you. Absolutely chuffed to bits. Small eyed grey. It took me, it took me forever. Why is it taking so long? <laughs> Absolute beautiful creature. The spots don't go all the way to the end of the wings. Nice thick tail. Not going to weigh it, but it's a small eyed ray. Chuffed to bits. Myself sorted, get myself cleaned up, get this little critter back. Absolutely chuffed the bits. Happy day. That small eye's gone back fit and strong. I actually see him flutter away as he went. There's a bit of a backwash and he went out with the backwash and never come back in. So pleased to see him go back. Um, say him, it was a her. Um, yeah, small eye grey, target for tonight. Chuffed a bit, it's a bit of a relief really. Six weeks I've been trying for one of those. Six weeks. And I think I've been fishing, this is the 13th time. 12, tw yeah, 13th time. 13 times, six weeks, and that's the first small eyed ray I've had. But I broke my duck, and I'm chuffed a bit. Absolutely chuffed the bits. Almost like job done now, but I'd like to get another one. Get another one, because none of us Ben or Richard have managed two in one night. There's a plan, get another one. So, what did I catch it on? 
stop the press. That was on the Trident rig, the Trident pulley rig, with a long, with a long body, long trace. But yeah, that was on Trident, Trident gear, with bluey wrapped in squid, with a panel hook and a circle hook for the top dressing hook. But it actually took it on the bottom hook, which was a 3.0 Camasan. It's chuffed to bits. Lines back out. Everything's tidy the way. Just got to catch me another. And it is, let's have a look at the time, five to six, so it's not quite high tide. I'm gonna fish a couple of hours of the tide down as well. So I've probably got another two and a half hours fishing. Might be able to winkle out another one. No south coast fishing trip would be complete without a doggy. <laughs> a very small, wiry, very skinny doggy. I caught one the other day at Salsey. I caught one the other day at Salsey and it was about the same, nothing to it. It is literally skin and bones. The tiniest doggy you're ever gonna see. One ray, one doggy. I think they're part of the same family, aren't they? All related in some way. I don't know, no expert. I'm a keen amateur. Temperature's dropped and it's about high water now. Just gonna go slack and on cue the doggies appeared i'm pretty much on slack so i'm going to sort myself out get this little critter back get back to fishing so i've just refreshed both baits and it's about time for a brew it is cold this evening but it's a nice evening no wind wind is the one that usually kills it isn't it if it's blowing a hooli don't get me wrong, it's still nice to fight the elements, battle the elements a bit and do some fishing, but I do like it when it's not windy. It's taken me six weeks to get that small eyed ray. Six weeks. There's commitment for you. Everything's working well tonight. And what I will say, got to acknowledge these things. I'm fishing right rod is a Gemini rig setup. Left rod is the Trident stuff. Left rod's caught both fish, the Ray and the Doggy. So I don't know what the uh, Gemini stuff's up to, but it's not pulling its weight at the moment. I'll have to have a chat with it. Anyone who watches my videos usually knows it's left rod that misbehaves. Usually needs a bit of a speaking to. Right rod's not pulling its weight tonight. Let's see if we can winkle something else out. I'm thinking, as long as I don't get plagued by the doggies now at slack, nothing will really hit hard now until we get the turn of the tide. So I intend fishing two to three hours down and see how we get on. Be interesting. I was starting to doubt myself with the rigs and the bait, you know, but I've changed nothing. I'm fishing exactly the same as I had been previously. But the results have come in tonight, so for me that is. I'll have to think what I'm going to target next. Still got a bit of a hankering for rays, you know. And I'll have to get Ben the fishing genius and Richard the fishing guru to get them to pull their, pull their act together. <laughs> My hat, but I look like a smurf. But, let's keep my head warm tonight. It is quite chilly. I better get back to it. Do some more. That was an adrenaline fueled few moments. Stood next to my rods, sort of checking them, but to be honest, I was on my phone looking on Facebook and I heard the reel go and it was stripping line. I looked up at the rod and it was proper jagging and pulling down. So I tried to ease into the clutch, pick it up, straight into definitely a ray. You can almost feel the pulsing of the wings. And off it went. I think it was going up along the beach, to be honest. Must have been in the gully and, and heading that way, heading towards Bournemouth. Tried to slow it down, add it on for about five, six minutes, something like that, without exaggerating it, try and keep it factual. Definitely just less than 10 minutes. Started to win some line back, started to bring it back in, and it was proper hanging. It was proper hanging on. And then it was almost like the hook popped. It was almost like sprung out and straight away I knew it was off. I knew I dropped it, but that was exciting. It's been quite a while since I've caught something from the shore 
that hit me that hard. And I enjoyed that, that was good. Bring on some more. I'll put the bait out straight away. Same place, same rod. <laughs> Won't pick it up again though, will But, seriously, I enjoyed that, that was cracking. The tide's well and truly on the drop now. So it's been about two hours since high tide. Had that adrenaline filled few minutes with um, whatever that was that took my line earlier. I've had nothing else like it. One thing I have noticed though, had the dog eat slack water, had the, had the small eye grey as the tide was coming in. There's been no tings. I haven't had any ting bites either. I know I'm using quite big baits, I'm using bluey wrapped in squid, but I haven't had any ting bites, I haven't had any tings. That's unusual. Usually with a with a neat tide like this and you know darkness falls, they're all there with their knives and forks queuing up, dinner plates at the ready. I haven't had to fight my way through the tings tonight, which has been a pleasant change to be honest for lately. Lately everything has been tings. But no, can't complain. One small eyed ray and one donkey beak something that decided to go up the beach somewhere. I think he was on for a night out in Bournemouth. I hope you like the film. I hope the drone footage has come out well and that you've enjoyed that as well. It mixes things up a bit, doesn't it? it? Changes perspective, showing you exactly where I'm fishing from an aerial view. Quite enjoyed flying it as well. Big boys toys, isn't it? So all that's left for me to say is tight lines and happy fishing. And I'll see you again sometime soon. Bye for now.